In this devlog, we'll show you how to compile C++ code using a makefile generated by CMake. So traditionally, we have your source file, your source C++ file. Let me just create one real quickly. All this program will do is it, it will print out a text, hello world, return zero. So to compile this file, what we have to do is to call our compiler, pass to it an O flag, and tell the compiler to produce an executable called sample, and tell the compiler which source files to use to compile the program sample in this case, main.cpp. Once compiled, we can run our program and it will print out the text hello world as expected. Now this one works, but in a real world scenario, you usually have hundreds or even thousands of C++ files, and it would be hard for us to type everything in a single command. So to get things organized, the first thing we have to do is to create our project directory. In this case, I'll create a directory called sample, and I'll move my source file main.cpp into that project directory. Once that's done, the first thing we have to do is to create a file called cmakelists.txt. This one will tell cmake the, uh, the, the steps needed to create the make file to compile our C++ code. The first thing we need is a command called cmake minimum required, which will tell cmake the minimum version to use to produce the make file. There's also this function called set, which will allow us to set variables and its corresponding values. For example, we can set a variable called cmake build type whose value is debug. Another example is to set a variable called cmake cxx flags whose value is std equals c++14. This will tell the compiler that the code I'm compiling is using c++14 standard syntax. Another thing we can do with this set command is to have other val values interpolated to the values of the variables we're setting. In this case, I can set the value for cmake cxx flags to contain the initial value set to it and just append the std equals c++14 flag. So if ever we had an initial value for cmake cxx flags, it will be included as part of the new value for the variable cmakecxx flags. After setting the variables needed, we can tell cmake that we're operating under a project called sample by calling the project command. Finally, to actually produce the executable or to tell cmake to create a make file that will create the executable for us, we call this command add executable which will first contain the name of the executable we'd like to produce, in this case, sample, followed by the necessary source files that makefile will look for to compile this program, in this case, main.cpp. So if you had numerous source files, you might want to include it in this add executable command. Let's say source1.cpp, source2.cpp, and so on and so forth. In our case, we only have one source file called main.cpp, which will produce the program sample for us. Once we have everything set up, then we can produce the make file by calling cmake dot in the current directory of our project, or in the root directory of our project. This will create a bunch of files, but our concern is just this make file that we need that will compile our source files into the executable sample. Now that we have that make file, we can just call make, and it will produce the 
executable sample for us, and we can now run the command sample, which in turn will print the hello world string for us. 